today I'm going to be showing you how I made this breakable heart and strawberries. The whole theme today is going to be Lilo and Stitch and I know you guys are going to like this one. Now also for the first time on my channel, I'm going to be using edible images. It's super easy to work with. I know you guys can do this if you haven't already tried it out. Now let's go ahead and hop right into the video. So to get started, we're going to use my favorite candy melts. This is from the brand Ghirardelli. And we're going to place this in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time. And just like that, our chocolate is melted. So this is the consistency you will be achieving when melting this Ghirardelli chocolate. It is super liquidy and perfect to work with for dipping all chocolate treats. I definitely recommend this. Now let's move on to coloring your chocolate. Today I'm going to be using the brands Chef Master and Color Mill. You have to make sure both of them are oil-based candy colorings. This is going to help blend your color super easily without any hassle. And also make sure you guys give this a really good stir to make sure you get all that color inside of that white chocolate and we're mixing it really thoroughly. Now once we've mixed our baby blue color, this is the color we achieved. It looks super pretty and I just can't wait to show you guys what this looks like on our breakable heart. So now let's move on to our purple color. So let's add in one drop at a time and you can always add in more as you go, but just make sure you give that a really good stir so we don't have any streaks left over when we're trying to pour this into our chocolate mold or piping bag. So that's the color we achieved and that's a super pretty purple. So now that we have our colors done, let's move on to our breakable heart. So as mentioned before, we're going to make this baby blue. So we're going to pour in a good amount of this into our breakable heart. Now I'm not going to bore you guys with this step just because I already have a super detailed tutorial on my YouTube channel from start to finish how to make a marbled heart and how to fill your heart. So if you guys would like help with that, I always have the link down in the description box or you can also check out that eye on the right hand side of your screen. So now that our breakable heart is into the refrigerator, we can now get started on some decoration. So let's pour some of our purple chocolate directly into a piping bag. Now here we have a variety of different molds. I have some uppercase letter molds, numbers, and butterfly molds. You can all find these down below in the description box as well. This piping bag is such a game changer. It is the perfect size, super sturdy, and you can also microwave it a little bit and nothing happens. Like it stays intact and overall super, super high quality. That brand is really, really good. Now moving on to our butterfly mold, we're going to pipe directly inside all of our butterflies with this method. Now to make sure our butterflies do not break on us because I know sometimes they do, we're going to add like an extra line to the center, which I'm showing you guys here. And we're going to do that to all the butterflies. So we're going to start prepping for our edible image. So today I will be using the Wilton fondant and you're going to cut as much as you would need. I'm just going to cut a small piece because my edible image is not that big. So let's roll this into a ball. Then we're going to flatten this out with our rolling pin using our purple bumpers. And that is just going to help us with that same thickness all around. Now that we have our fondant as big as our edible image, we're going to set that aside and start cutting my edible image. Yours might be full with like a whole bunch of different designs on there, but as far as mine, I just have a small piece. So there's no point of me rolling out too much fondant and just getting white out of it. So what I'm going to do is cut this like extra white pieces all around my edible image. And that's just going to help me save some fondant and also just discard anything that I don't need. So now that I cut out all those extra pieces I do not need, now I'm just going to go back and forth with my fondant and see how much bigger I need this. So it's okay, we're just going to place it back where it goes. Then we're going to take our rolling pin and just roll this out a little bit thinner to make sure everything fits perfectly inside. Now to adhere our edible image to our fondant, 
We're now going to use a pastry brush and we're going to dampen this with a little bit of water. You don't want too much. So now we're going to place our edible image right on top of that. You can't move it again, so make sure you guys make sure it's exactly where you guys want it. Now underneath our parchment paper, I'm going to place a cutting board. So today I will be using a cookie cutter and also an X-Acto knife. So to this method, we're just going to press down exactly like you do to cut out cookies. So press down very firmly and it's going to release super easily. And this is what we're left with. You can use this for so many different designs. So now we're moving on to our X-Acto knife method. So with this, we're just going to try our best to just go all the way around. And I found that this X-Acto knife is really good. It's from the brand Cricut, and I solely use it for this purpose right here, for cutting our edible images. So this is how it turns out. And if you guys do have some edges where it looks a little bit off because of how we cut it, we can just use the side of that X-Acto knife, and it just makes it look so much better. So here we have our edible image. And the back of that does have a little piece of fondant so when you do eat it it's sweet but not too sweet and it also tastes really good so you know all of this works really well together so now i'm just going to take the time here to cut all of my small little like pictures and we'll be right back to show you guys what to do next So now that we're almost done cutting all of them, I'm going to explain to you a little bit about what to do next. So now that we're done with all of these, we're going to grab a piece of either parchment paper or wax paper and we're going to set that off to the side. Now the side with our edible image, it's going to be facing downwards towards our countertop and the side with the fondant is going to be facing upwards and we're just going to let this sit at room temperature for about 30 minutes or so. We just want the fondant to naturally harden up like it does if you do leave it at room temperature. And that is all we're going to do with that step. Now moving on to our chocolate covered strawberries, we're going to insert our toothpick. Then we're going to dip directly into our chocolate. So once we have this dipped, we're going to lift up and shake off the excess. Now if you do have any small air bubbles, you can always double dip it again. Or you can also take a toothpick and pop those small air bubbles. And we're going to repeat the same process throughout the rest of our strawberries. So now we're going to get started on decorating our chocolate covered strawberries. So to my Ziploc bag, I cut a small tip on there. And we're going to start drizzling our strawberries and I'll show you exactly how I decorated all of them here. And if you are enjoying this tutorial, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up down below and hey, subscribe to my channel if you're new. I like to post new videos every now and then and you know, you guys really seem to like them so I can't wait to keep doing more and more videos for you guys, especially for Halloween. Halloween is coming up and I'm really excited to bring out all these fancy little boxes. They're going to be super awesome. I hope you guys do enjoy those as well. Now that we're done with our strawberries, letters, and edible images, it's time to get started on our breakable heart. So this is a tip that I've already showed my subscribers here, but if you are new, this tip is just for you. So before you adhere anything directly on your breakable heart, I would suggest you guys do this method. So I'm first going to place all of my letters directly on my heart. I'm not going to adhere them yet. So once you know exactly where the placement is and where everything fits, now we're going to take a small amount of chocolate to the back of that letter and we're going to adhere it to our heart. So that is pretty much it for that tip and it really helps out a lot. So I'm going to finish decorating the rest of the set and we'll be right back to hop right into packaging.
So let's move on to our packaging. And underneath my breakable heart, today I'm going to place an assortment of different candies. So you can choose from candies to small gifts. You can literally place anything that fits inside of this breakable heart. Now using my heart silicone mold, I'm going to place this directly on top of all of my candies just to see exactly how much more I can actually add. And here I just went in a lot of times back and forth just trying to fill this heart up with so many candy. So now after that, we're going to add in some color confetti all throughout. We're going to measure our breakable heart on top of all those candies, making sure everything is fitted directly at the bottom. Now we're going to hop onto our crinkle paper, and here I'm just going to use some simple white colored one, and I'm just going to place this all throughout the bottom of our box. Now to our chocolate strawberries, I'm going to like make a small little well in the bottom of our crinkle paper, and I'm going to place my strawberry directly on top. This is going to help it from not moving while in transportation and it's going to be ideal for them to be very secure in their space. Now I'm going to take my wooden mallet with some tool and I'm going to place that on the side. I just had to move a couple more things around but everything fits perfectly in this box. Lastly, I'm going to add in my favorite glitter and this is how this entire Stitch inspired box turned out. Let me know down below which character I should do next. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye, have a lovely day.